Robert Merlachi, president and publisher of the Mindshare Learning Report, uh, Canada's leading learning and technology magazine. I'm also the chief digital curator of proudly the Mindshare Report, which is uh, entering its 10th anniversary in Canada. That's that awesome. awesome. So you yeah. got lots of hats you're wearing. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. We're really thrilled to be here. We're actually hosting, and you're welcome to attend at 5.30 this evening. Thank you. Our fourth annual uh, Can-Am VIP networking reception, mm -hmm. celebrating excellence in learning and innovation. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah. we're the thought leaders in Canada yeah. that do what we do. That's really awesome. And, and you know, Fetsy's the perfect place to come, you know, to bridge that gap and find out what's going on here and, and share what you guys are doing. 100%, yeah. Uh, we're... Uh, you know, we're really excited about uh, launching our ninth annual uh, Classroom of the Future Challenge. So we're really inspiring innovation in the classroom. We're seeing that trend around the, the, the interest around uh, uh, maker spaces and learning commons. Mm -hmm. So we're nurturing that digital transformation that a lot of leaders uh, in school schools struggle with uh, today. I think, you know, we're in a great path to success. Canada performs really well on the OECD piece of rankings, top five in the world, mm -hmm. but you can't be complacent. And right. there's a lot to learn uh, from our our neighbors, our, our great neighbors to the South that we <laughs> passionately value our relationship. And that's that's, that's why we, we host the Can-Am reception because there's a lot of learning and collaboration that happens in the informal settings. I did a master's in ed tech at Pepperdine, mm -hmm. uh, give them a plug, yeah. and, and that was tra quite transformational. Yeah. And uh, that inspired the Mindshare Report because we didn't have uh, anyone in Canada producing a, a publication around tech and learning. Well, and that's what I was going to say. So for, for those of, that are listening and don't right. know what the, what the Mindshare Report is, right. can you give a kind of a synopsis sure. of, of what you guys do Absolutely. and what it, what it, yeah. what it accomplishes and, and what you hope to accomplish in the future? Publishing. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, um, you know, we're Canada's leading learning and technology e-magazine that focuses on producing monthly themed reports, uh, identifying a particular province or focused province in February is um, is Saskatchewan, which is a leader in online learning. So the theme is uh, this month, this coming month is online learning. Okay. So we'll, we'll uh, connect with the leaders in that space and uh, interview them on a podcast or vodcast that we like okay. to do. And then we, we, we uh, curate nationally uh, all the best of the best happening in K-12 and higher ed in yeah. Canada. So. And we have guest bloggers. We've got a couple of our folks here. We've got uh, Tim Gard, who's uh, our chief digital blogger from the Toronto District School Board, which is top five in, in North America. Wow. So we really drill down to to uh, explore all corners of Canada. And it's geographically, Canada is enormous. I think uh, uh, our border, I hope Trump doesn't decide he wants to put a wall there. Yeah. It's 5,000 miles yeah. long. So it's huge. It's huge, as he would say. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, but uh, at any rate, uh, you know, we really value our partnership, and we don't think a wall is necessary yeah. in Canada. I'm, I'm hoping they're pushing for maybe just some shrubbery. You know, yeah, some nice shrubs <laughs> you know, along the way, you know, a few so, thorns. So I have to ask you, yes. ten, 10 years. 10 years, yeah. And a lot has changed in oh 10 my. years. Oh, my. It, it really has. I, yeah. And you've seen it happen because, you know, you started 10 years ago. Right. When, uh, you know, this doesn't, didn't even exist. Didn't exist. You know, iPad didn't coming exist. Coming on the market, you know, yeah. Isn't that no, amazing? No, it didn't exist. No, it, it's incredible the, 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 the pace of change and, and innovation. I, you know, I kind of call it the iPad effect. You know, when the iPad came out, it spurred a lot of innovation mm -hmm. a, around it, in education. I remember bringing one home. It, it weren't even available in Canada. Yeah. I brought it home to my wife. She said, what the hell is that thing? Bring it back. <laughs> yeah. Who uses that the most in their household? My wife comes home, yeah. grabs that iPad first thing to yeah. catch up yeah. on the day. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, and, and, and I credit the iPad for having that tipping point effect because you can't ignore technology in right. a classroom. You just can't. You, you know, teachers are being pulled along, some of them kicking and screaming. <laughs> yes. But, you know, is it ubiquitous? Is it, you know, one-to-one? -one? Not there yet, but, you know, we're really excited about the big data components and, and how that can really support and nurture student success. Mm -hmm. And that personalized learning piece yeah that's that's not systemic yet I, I'm not sure if you've seen that here in in the US 
Yeah, we're seeing it. You know what? What I find when you talk about that, the analytics of it all. Yeah. You know, the one to one move is is beautiful, and the fact that they take them home is is even better. And when right. you think about the analytics of now, we can actually yeah. track student uses twenty four seven. Right. And that gives us such an insight into their lives. Right. And, and, and to help us build a better education plan the whole way. You know, that to yeah. me, that's that's what I think we'll be looking at in two to three years is they'll realize, wait, we're, we're they're taking these Chromebooks home. Right. And we're actually, yeah. we're, you know, we're filtering them and we're watching everything they're doing. You know, right. Guardian and those companies are pulling in that data. And we're going to have not just that classroom data. We're going to have, oh, well, this kid likes to spend this much time gaming. Well. We need to look at gaming in the classroom. Right. We need to find. He looks like he wants to be a programmer. He's doing photography. She's doing writing. You know, we're going to have this opportunity to take. You know, wow, lots of right. data. And, and you're right. Data is the hinge point. That that is the one that's yeah. going to change everything for us. It's a. It's. I like to say it's never been a more exciting time to be in education. Mm-hmm. I had the good fortune of uh, leading uh, the Canadian uh, education business for Kevin O'Leary on Shark Tank. Mm-hmm. He's a fellow Canadian, and uh, he was the president CEO of the learning company. We're talking, you guys are probably still in high school, but uh, we're talking uh, about 20 years ago, I was lured away from York University to launch the, the startup uh, of the education group. And uh, since that time, I mean, it's just been, now we're talking, I've been in at tech for 20 years. Yeah. You know, it, it, it uh, as they say for smart technologies, it took them 20 years to be an overnight success. Right, yes. Right? Education yes. does not move at the pace of industry because, you know, I, I, I like to, I coined a phrase, R-O, uh, not ROI, return on achievement, not return on investment. Mm-hmm. I think that's the way we should be measuring yeah. education, you know, from a industry standpoint. And, you know, we've got a huge exhibit area here. They're all into our ROI. I've told some of them, you got to think differently right. and think about, return on achievement yeah. yeah so have you guys been up to canada lately we're, we're we've got a conference in edtech summit that we really? host uh it's going to be november uh 6th it's our canada 150 canada's 150th birthday yeah. uh 1867 uh we formalized that as a country mm-hmm. and uh so november 6th we're hosting uh, uh canada 150 at tech summit yeah. So you guys are welcome to, to come. Hey, we'll reach there. out yeah. and yeah. Uh, maybe we need to head your way. Yeah. Yeah. We're just going to meet with the FETC folks because we're looking at doing something in Canada together as well. Oh, awesome. that'd yeah. be great. So Man, perhaps that's awesome. that FETC North. How sure. does that sound? Hey, there you go. That's All right. right. Gentlemen, <laughs> this was so fortuitous much. in my pleasure.